Well, I guess spicy is the inword now for tasty dissonant harmonies, probably thanks to Adam Neely. But back in the day, I used to use the word tangy. Does anyone else use that word now? Or is it just me? Anyway, here are five tangy chords that Gil has used throughout some of his work. And not all of them are going to be extremely dissonant. I mean, it's not going to be Schoenberg, who I love, by the way. But these are pretty interesting chords, given the fact that Gill was mostly working in a tonal medium. Number one, my ship. So let's start nice and easy, a D flat triad over a C pedal. Yep, this chord isn't unheard of, but it's a pretty good one, seeing as it's the last chord in a piece that is an F major. It has a nice, mysterious hanging quality. Number two, Buzzard Song. This is another mysterious ending chord. This time it's from the Porgy and Bess opener. It's a C sharp major seven with a sharpened ninth. And the piece is in D minor. I love how he places the sharp nine right next to the major third in that tessitura. You gotta love that ending chord after the tuba melody. Number three, green sleeves. The third chord of this glorious shout chorus is a very compact stack of notes. The shout chorus starts with a tight stack and then it gets ratcheted up a notch. It's an F diminished nine. He starts with an E minor nine and pushes the bottom two notes upwards for the diminished chord. Beautiful. Number four, the juke. When I first saw this chord in the score, I thought it must have been an error, but there are plenty of doublings of the offending notes, and Steve LaJoey mentioned this chord when I interviewed him for this channel. I mean, this isn't the sort of chord you learn at music school, is it? A D flat 13 sharp 11th, with a natural 9th and a sharper 9th. Number five, Donna Lee. Okay, now we're starting to get serious. This is the penultimate chord in Gill's arrangement of Donna Lee. I guess you'd call it a C minor over an A major seven. It's more of a beat you into submission chord, really. The last chord is a goodie too, but that will have to wait for another time. Now there are so many tasty chords that I could have chosen. Have I missed any of your favourites? How about some from other jazz composers and arrangers? I'm also going to be harmonising a bebop tune soon. Does anyone have a request for what tune I should do? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> 